Hello everybody, I'm John. Welcome to another edition of the old Zone 1 Beer Club. And this afternoon we'll bring you a little something different. Uh, something we did Wednesday night on uh, Louisiana Beer Reviews channel. And I also seen my old buddy Jerry Ford do one. I made such a good one, I wanted to do a YouTube video and share it with the world. So, without further ado, let's make your own gelata right here at the old Zone 1. So, i done something a little different. I'm going to tell you my ingredients. So, my ingredients are six ounces of homegrown tomatoes that we raised with my father-in-law on his garden. We squeezed them, de-seeded, do all that stuff, jarred it, and preserved it. Do all that stuff that you do when you're a farmer and you got a big garden. So, this is all organic, all 100% tomato juice based. Uh, I've also got a splash of Worcestershire sauce in it, a splash of sriracha sauce in it. I've got a pinch of cumin with a pinch of Cajun seasoning. I got a pinch of chili pepper in it. I've got a pinch of salt, that's ground sea salt, and I got three pinches of ground peppercorns in it. And I'm going to tell you, it was pretty phenomenal. But I've also got for my base beer, I've got three ounces of Bud Light Lima Rita and three ounces of Bud Light Cranberita. And it all mixed up good. But what I did a little different, and I don't know, I've never watched a YouTube video on this, but I, when we did it on Jay's channel, it seemed like everybody poured their tomato juice in first and then poured the beer over top of it and put the ingredients in it. But i tell you what I did. I broke out my old martini shaker, and uh, that's what I did. I put all the ingredients in there. It'll shake her up a little bit. That's what I did, because I wanted to get it all good and shook up. So I've got three ice cubes. So let's pour it all in, because I really wanted to get mine all shaken up good. I didn't want to make it any, but look at that. You think I'm not a bartender? That's a perfect freaking pour right there, guys. Look at that. Yes, sir. Practice makes perfect when you're Joe Zone Pound. But, uh, you know, really with this, with, with the beers that I added to it, I kind of wanted to stay with more of an adjunct type beer. I know these beers are, I guess if you want to call them beers or whatever they are, they're 8% ABV, but I really want to stay with that profile of beer. I didn't want to add any craft beers or any oddities to it because I wanted to kind of taste everything blended together. Uh, I don't think I mixed it imperfect. I don't think I mixed it perfect, but for me, it's, it's great. I really enjoyed it. I'm not a big fan of these, but uh, I think with everything that I added in it to it, it breaks up the acidity of, of the tomato very well. It's, it does, it's not tart. It's just, to me, with the beers that I used in it, that I personally think I used in it, I think I've done a pretty good job. Not bragging, but pretty good job. But hey, let's, you know, you get the tomato juice in it. You get the lime in it. from the. You get maybe a, a hint of the cranberry reed in it. But with all the spices that I put in it, I mean, it's just all blended together as one great chalata. Let's give her a taste. Man, that's good. That's just about as good as you can get. But, you know, I mean, I'm going to try to bring different things to my channel. And this was one of them. That, uh because I really enjoyed this, and I'm not a fan of these whatsoever. But I think a lot of these beers that, that you buy with the tomato juice in it, I think it, it tastes thick. And I'm not, it, it's a texture thing with me with the thickness of the tomato juice. But with the tomato juice that I have, which is all handmade, uh, it's thin, real thin. And I think it, that appeals to me a lot more, a thinner tomato juice, not some big thick stuff, some, some pre-made gelato tomato juice or anything like that. Because to me, it, make your own is not buying your own. This is making your own here. And uh, I want to put my own ingredients in it. I don't want to buy something that's already got ingredients in it. You can add to that if you want to, but to me that takes away from the effect of, of what you're trying to produce. 
you know, with my shaker, what I wanted to do is shake it up perfectly. I didn't want to mix the ingredients in here and then have to mix them up with a stir. I wanted to use my shaker. I wanted to shake them up, make sure that everything was shaken evenly and perfectly to get to get everything mixed together right. Uh, you know, these aren't that expensive. You know, six, seven bucks. Maybe you might find one cheaper. This is a 12 ounce one. I've got bigger ones and I've got smaller ones. But uh, I try to keep a variety of them for bar use. But, you know, I mean, hey, this is awesome. And it, this is actually one that I enjoy drinking. And like I said, you can add or subtract or you can add whatever ingredients you want. But personally, I don't think you, you need to stick with something, a low ABV beer, somewhere around, you know, say four and a half to maybe eight percent, like these beers that I use in this. Uh, and I think that's what you're going to get your best results of. Higher ABV beers, uh, I believe, is going to take away from what it is just because, uh, you know, I mean, uh, they're high ABV beers, and they're going to take away from the taste of the tomato juice. I maybe not even make it taste as good as what it should because of the hops and, and the varieties of malts and other characteristics in the craft beer. But I think you need to stick with a beer like this. Uh, to me, it pairs well. I might try one with a, with a low ABV craft beer if I can find one. I, I think I've got a couple, but and I might do another one. Mix, make mix up. Hey, might do one with a bolt liquor. Try that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, but hey, I hope everybody enjoys it. Hey, if you uh, make this, let me know what you think. But I think the Worcestershire sauce, perfect in it. Sriracha sauce, bam! Makes it perfect. All the spices I use, you guys got it. Write them down. Watch it more times than one if you need to. Or hey, send me a little thing and I'll send it to you on the comments. Hey, I'm John. Zone one gelata. Have a good one, people. I'm going to finish this up. Hey, it's Friday night. Do what you do best on Friday night. Drink beer. Later.